Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing probably one of my favorite series that I have on my channel and that is where you guys choose my makeup. So if you are new here and if you have no idea what the series is all about, basically what I do is I go on my social media, ask you guys a bunch of questions and then I take your answers and I basically curate a video all around the products that you guys suggest to me. So I've done in the past testing my subscribers least favorite makeup, testing my subscribers favorite summer makeup products, etc, etc. But today I'm focusing on drugstore makeup. Before I start I just want to give a big huge thank you to everybody who participated in today's video I got so many responses for every single question that I asked and Honestly, it makes this video so much more fun when I get so many responses because I just get such like a variety of answers and it's just so great to get as many of you guys involved in like the creation of the video as possible. And if you are not able to participate, do not worry. I do these all the time. And if you want to have a chance to participate next time, just make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram because I will always let you guys know there first when I do plan on doing these videos. So I will put my social media links somewhere on the screen. If you enjoy the subscriber choose my makeup videos, of course hit that thumbs up button so that I know to do more. And of course also subscribe if you wanna join the fam because the fam is freaking awesome. Let's get started. I wanna put all this stuff on my face already. So starting off first with the primer, this is the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Now this really, really caught my eye because those of you who did recommend this product said that it was basically an exact dupe for the Becca Spotlight Priming Filter and I, I'm always here for a dupe. The backlight priming filter is also one of my favorite glowy primers, so I'm really, really excited to see if this is going to live up to the hype that you guys basically put on this product. I really love glowy primers like this because I find that they're pretty versatile in the way that you could use them. You can either put it all over your face, like what I'm doing now, just to give you like an all over glowy look, and oh my god, my face is literally reflective right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is definitely glowier than the Becca backlight priming filter. I'm not mad at it because I feel like once I put the foundation on top, it's gonna look a little bit more normal, but my skin is reflective. Another way that you can use a product like this is just by like putting it on the high points of the face so that you have uh, more of like a specific glow and it's not a general all over the face glow. So next moving on to the foundation, it's another Physicians Formula product. This is the Healthy Foundation with SPF 20. And so many of you guys were recommending this to me and saying that it was like your holy grail product, that it's amazing for dry skin. And again, you like completely, completely sold me. I have never tried a Physicians Formula foundation, so I really have no idea what to expect. I ended up getting LW2, which I feel like is gonna be a pretty close match, but we will definitely find out. So it has a giant doe foot applicator. And I'm basically just going to dot this all over my face. Oh my God, that is a great foundation match. Okay, I'm so relieved. I did not think I would get, get it right, but I looked up swatches and I was like trying to figure out what was going to work. And I think this is actually going to match me perfectly. I'm just going to take my foundation brush. This is my Morphe G36 and I'm going to blend it out and we'll see how it looks. Honestly guys, doing these videos are some of my favorites to do, not just because I love getting you guys involved, but also because you truly do recommend some of the best products. And no matter what, every time I do one of these videos, I come out of it with like three new products that I use every single day. This foundation is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously I've only had it on my face for maybe 46 seconds, but it looks really, really nice and just fresh looking. Love the finish of it too. It's definitely not too glowy, even with the super glowy primer <laughs> underneath. So now moving on to concealer. This is a product that I'm probably the most excited about. And it's also hyped up so much in my mind because I feel like this is a product that is really like spoken about very, very highly. A lot of people really love this. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. A lot of people say that it's very comparable to the Shape Tape. I ended up getting the shade 005 Light Natural. They sort of had like a weird shade range, but this was the safest color it seemed to get. It's a little bit light. I'm also gonna highlight since this is quite light. I wanna disperse that brightness across the rest of my face so that it doesn't look completely weird and out of place. Gonna put some on my chin, on my nose, and on my forehead. Has a has a fragrance to it, doesn't it? Ooh. I wouldn't really say that this is super similar to the Tarte Shape Tape um, as far as the way that it feels and blends out. I feel like the Tarte Shape Tape is definitely a little bit creamier. I do feel like the Catrice one is a little bit thicker in consistency, but it does give a very similar amount of coverage. I'm gonna be really honest. I don't I don't know if I like that. <laughs> 
I really feel bad like saying that I don't like a product that so many of you guys recommended. The concealers that I tend to like prefer are concealers that are a little bit more on like the emollient side that are just a little bit more hydrating, but I think if you do like that type of look, I can totally see why you like this. I just think for my personal preferences, I don't absolutely love the way it looks on my skin. I feel like it looks just slightly dry, but the coverage is definitely really, really good. I don't know, I would love to know more of your thoughts on this product down below. Definitely let me know more of your opinions because I'm now curious. All right guys, so now let's move on to the eyeshadow. Now I did ask you guys on Instagram stories what your favorite eyeshadow palette was from the drugstore and overwhelmingly the e.l.f. Matte for Matte 2 eyeshadow palette was like one of the top answers. And I'm really, really excited to try this because I do really like the Matte for Matte uh, original eyeshadow palette. I think I've even mentioned it as one of my favorite drugstore neutral palettes in like a past video, but I've never tried this one. So I'm first gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab the cream shade in the palette and I'm just going to set my whole entire lid and brow bone with this. I already put a little bit of the concealer across my lid, so that's gonna act as our eyeshadow primer today. So for my transition shade, I'm gonna go into this one right over here, um, which is a really beautiful, like very light terracotta color. And I'm just going to pop that above the crease. Even though I haven't tried this palette before, I feel like I know that the eyeshadows are gonna be really good because I have tried the original Matte for Matte and I was so impressed with the quality of those eyeshadows, especially for the price point, it's like sort of insane. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the purple shade on a more precise blending brush. This is my Smith 235. And I'm going to just pop this right on the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. If you want this color to be really punchy, this is definitely a color that you gotta build up a little bit. But I almost like when these darker colors are on the sheer side because it makes it so much easier to use. When you have a really, really bright or really dark eyeshadow that's super pigmented, that's great, but it also makes it like really difficult to actually apply. So when something's a little bit sheer like this and not as intensely pigmented, it's easier to you know control exactly how much you're applying so that you can build it up and get exactly what you want okay i'm actually going to take a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand and i'm going to grab a super precise teeny tiny little brush and i'm going to carve out my lid with the concealer this is my favorite thing to do when i have a very simple eye look but I wanna make it look like I spent way more time than I actually did. I will just carve out my crease and carve out my lid because it will make it look like you just spent <laughs> like a full hour doing very, very precise crease work when in reality you just grabbed a little concealer and popped it on your lid. I'm going to go into my little fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab the pink shade right over here and sort of just put that between the concealer and that purple shade that we applied on the outer corner just so that there is a little bit of a transition shade. Just gonna go into that pink shade that we just picked up on a little blending brush and just sort of pop that on my lower lash line so that everything is tied together. I do wanna use the highlighter that I'm gonna be using today on the tops of my cheekbones on my actual lid. So I'm just gonna talk about it right now. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. So when I asked you guys what your favorite highlighter was, a lot of you guys were saying the Wet n Wild highlighters just in general, but also very specifically the shade Precious Petals. I do believe I have tried this before and this is a very, very intense highlighter. Like if you like a highlighter that is popping, if you like a highlighter that gives you a very, very tense glow, you will 100% really, really really love these wet and wild highlighters because they are they are that it actually reminds me quite a bit of becca champagne pop so i'm gonna take a little bit of this on my synthetic brush and just pop this on my lid where i have that concealer and you're gonna see even on my lid the metallic glow that it gives it's so beautiful all right, eyes are pretty much done. Might as well just finish them off with mascaras. I actually got quite a few recommendations for the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara, and I haven't heard literally anybody talk about this, so that got me really, really intrigued. And just the fact that this mascara is called Worth the Hype is just risky, I feel like, 
for NYX to name a product worth the hype because that just sets the bar so incredibly high for the product. This product has no choice but to live up to its hype, you know? This is what the brush looks like. Looks like a pretty standard mascara wand. I really like the natural bristles on here. It looks very, very fluffy. I'm not curling my lashes. I wanna see how this is going to apply without, without me doing that. I actually really like how fluffy this makes my lashes look because this isn't like a very, very wet formula and the bristles on the brush aren't like just covered with a ton of mascara. I feel like it does a really great job of actually separating my lashes. It's not a very like lengthening product. It's not making my lashes look very, very long, but it's doing a great job of volumizing them. Like you can see the base of my lashes look really nice and thick. I do wish though that this mascara did a little bit of a better job of like actually curling my lashes and making them look a little bit more lifted. I do feel like they look a little bit straight and that's what I really like about the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I feel like because the Maybelline Lash Sensational has more of like a plastic wand that is a little bit bent like in a C shape, it does a really great job of actually lifting and almost like curling my lashes without me having to go in with a lash curler. So I'm just gonna go off camera now and very quickly do my brows and then I'll come back to finish off the rest of the face. So now moving on to the bronzer. I feel like I didn't even, even have to ask you guys what your favorite bronzer was from the drugstore and I knew that this was gonna be like the most popular response. This was basically the only product that you guys were recommending to me. It was so funny, even Chloe Morello chimed in and said that her uh, favorite bronzer from the drugstore was the butter bronzer. It's also my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. So. It's nice to see that we're all on the same page. This is a bronzing product that really just does it right. It goes on the skin in such a flattering way. It's definitely not like a powdery product. Like you could stab your brush into this bronzer and you will have no powder kickback whatsoever. And in my opinion, that is the best type of formula, especially when it comes to a bronzer because you're really able to control how bronzy you actually become because it's so sheer so you just build it up where you wanna build it up. I'm really gonna build this up quite a bit because the foundation was just like a touch too light. I wanna get my, my bronze back. <laughs> the brush I'm using, by the way, is the Morphe G7. So for the blush, I got two recommendations, Milani blushes and Flower Beauty blushes. Now I know Milani blushes are really good because I've been using them for years and years and years. So many of you guys are recommending the Milani Luminoso, which is a classic, specifically the formula before they reformulated it because I also do agree it was better before they reformulated it. Now I feel like it's a little bit more shimmery than what it used to be, but it's still a really beautiful blush. But a lot of you guys were also recommending Flower Beauty blushes, and I have never tried anything from Flower Beauty. So I got two Flower Beauty blushes. Um, I got two specific recommendations for colors as well. Um, a lot of you guys were saying Warm Hibiscus, which is this one over here, is gorgeous, and also Peach Primrose, which is so beautiful. And we're gonna be using both today. This actually looks very similar to the Milani Rose blushes now that I now that I'm looking at it. This shade Warm Hibiscus is like that classic pinky peach blush with gold shimmer. Ooh, the texture is really nice. It sort of feels like the butter bronzer in a way. It's a very very smooth feeling powder. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. That is beautiful. I thought that this was just going to be like a pinky peach with gold shimmer, but oh no no. That is a gold glow, baby. So smooth looking on the skin, like there's no visible shimmer, which I really, really like. Even though Warm Hibiscus looks a little bit more interesting, Peach Primrose really is a blush that I'm most excited about. I've said this before, but I really think that boring blushes are always the most beautiful, and this is a boring blush, but blushes like these just do something so special on the cheeks. And a blush like this will also go with so many different eye looks because it, it's not neutral, but it's it's pretty universal. This is also matte, there is no shimmer in here. Ooh, it feels so nice. And it's a nice peachy shade. Oh wow, that applied so nicely. Okay, super excited to actually try these. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the majority of my cheeks and then put a little bit of this one just on the apples. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I am so excited. Okay, this is gonna be a go-to blush for me. This is gonna be the winner of the whole entire video for me. Oh my God, I love this color so much. Okay, I am gonna take though a little bit of the pinkier shade and I'm just gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks, especially since this is a little bit more glowy. I feel like it's gonna be really pretty on the apples of the cheeks. We're, go we're going for a blushy look today. Clearly. <laughs> Look at the nice little glow that it gives the cheeks. This is beautiful. Okay, I feel like I wanna order the rest of the Flower Beauty blushes because I love, like love that formula. Let's finish off the cheeks with some highlighter. Obviously we're gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals. Now you guys know that super metallic highlighters really are not 
my thing. I more so prefer highlighters that just give me more of like a natural, glossy, glowy look. I can definitely appreciate a very metallic highlighter. It's just not something that I will go to every single day. But I know that so many of you guys do like it. I have tried this before, I believe in a past video even. Oh yeah, that is, that is glowy. I am gonna spray my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I know this is a drugstore, but it's just the setting spray that I have here and I do wanna put some sort of mist on my face. Honestly, I find that if I ever feel like my highlighter is too metallic or too intense, a nice setting spray will really just mesh it a little bit more into the skin. And I could always go in with my foundation brush and just tap over it and that will also just sort of calm it down a little bit and make it look a little bit less like it's sitting on top of my skin and more so like it's actually coming, coming from beneath. That, by the way, makes the biggest difference in the world. Before, it literally looked like it was just sitting on top of my cheekbones and it looked very, very apparent, but with that little spray of the MAC Fix Plus and then going in with my foundation brush, sort of just tapping on top of it, it, it made it look so much more natural and so much less like in your face metallic highlighter, but it's still so intense. So now to the lips, I actually have three different lip products here that I wanted to put on. Um, the first one is the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I actually remember when Manny um, made this lip liner really, really popular. It looks like a really, really perfect uh, lip liner, especially for nude lips. So I'm excited to try that. Um, and then I also have the Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. A lot of you guys are recommending this and I actually have never really heard anybody talk about this product. I believe this is a liquid lipstick. My biggest pet peeve is when brands call liquid lipsticks lip glosses because it just makes it so confusing. But I believe this is like a matte liquid lipstick. Um, this color over here is in the shade 02 Beauty Approved. And I also got some NYX Butter Glosses because I couldn't also ignore the fact that the NYX Butter Gloss was one of the most popular um, lipstick favorites that you guys were sending me. Of course, I have tried the NYX Butter Glosses. Creme Brulee has been and still is one of my all-time favorite colors. But when I was going through all my lip products, I actually got rid of a lot of my butter glosses because they were just old and not good anymore and I had to sort of like purge them. But when I was ordering these online, I did make sure to get two colors that I haven't tried before and I I really just love the NYX Butter Glosses, so I am really excited to have more shades back in my life. All right guys, first going in with the lip liner. This lip liner is great. Why do I not have this in my life? This is such a perfect nude lip liner because it's not too beige and it's also not too pink. It sort of has a little bit of both undertones in here. Okay, now let's go in with the matte liquid lipstick from Essence. I really like how thin that formula is. I wonder if this is gonna dry down. I'm just gonna leave it for a few seconds because I'm curious to see if this will dry down and make my lips feel a little bit drier or if it will stay this like moussey texture that it has on my lips right now. A few moments later. I really like this. This does not dry down, which I actually prefer because it does not feel drying in the slightest, but it's completely matte. How do I not know about this product? This is like my dream, because I love a good matte lip, but I really don't like liquid lipsticks because they're so drying. This feels amazing. I wish they had more shades in this range. They only have a few. Now let's move on to the gloss. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is Sunday Mimosa Butter Gloss. Oh my God, oh, oh, I love this lip combo. This is so pretty. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I just went ahead and changed my shirt because I could not look at myself with my red top and the makeup that I have on. I just felt like it clashed way too much and this is way more appealing to my eyes. Okay, I sort of want to do a quick little recap and talk about like the major standouts in today's video. Can you guess what product was my favorite in today's video? I think number one, definitely for me, the Flower Beauty Blushes. The foundation I do also really like. I can't really say that it's a standout for me though because I feel like I need to try it a little bit more with different primers, just different combos because that really makes like the biggest difference in the world. But I am really, really happy with the way that it's sitting on my skin. I love the way it blended out and the way it looks like really no complaints as far as uh, that goes at all. I also gotta say the NYX lip liner, totally a standout. I cannot believe it's taken me so long to actually try this out. Much, much later. Hey guys, okay, I was not planning on making this video like a check-in type thing, but 
I mean accidentally <laughs> I've been wearing this makeup for a few hours now it's been about five hours um, and I wanted to give you an update on the foundation because I think it looks fantastic and I actually feel like most of the base products even including the concealer look so much better as the day has gone by keep in mind I have not set anything with powder and it's lasting so well even my under eyes look great I almost take back what I said about the concealer I feel like it looks so much better as the day has gone on like it looked a little bit dry when i first applied it but now it looks so good and even that highlighter eyeshadow also lasting great it still looks nice and vibrant i obviously wiped off my lips so ignore that here's a even more close-up look <laughs> i love it at five hours you could definitely tell when products are going to you know work or not work if they're going to go downhill or not and i don't see any of this going downhill i'm currently editing the video that you're watching right now so i gotta get back to it so guys that finishes off today's video i really really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful and entertaining and once again thank you so much to everybody who participated you guys are awesome also let me know down below in the comments what other subscriber choose my makeup themes you like to see me do i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye